Um, so I'm not sure if anyone is aware, but in Seattle, the protesters have created an anarchist state, is what the media is calling it, but it's called Chaz Seattle. It is the Capitol Hill, um, Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. Wow, I literally had a brain fart. But it's a very peaceful community. Um, the news likes to slander it and say the protesters are being violent, or they're extorting local businesses, or they're destroying the city, um, or that they push the police out of their office. But let me just give you a little background. So the police department in that part of Seattle, they were already planning to abandon it and move to a new police department. And the police only moved early because the protests were picking up and the police feared for their lives. But they were already moving out of that police department. The protesters did not push them out of it or threaten their lives in any way. The community is very peaceful. There are tons of artists working on community art um, for the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, everyone has just come together. There's been no instances of violence in this new community. And they have created it because they want to show people what life could be like with less police presence. Now, obviously, this is not an established community yet, so it's not a true measure of what, you know, defunded police would look like. But I do think it is important to know the reality of the news story and not just um, the propaganda that is being spun by the orange Cheeto that we have in the White House. So... Our next story is the fact that Donald Trump is having a white supremacist rally. Yes, that's what we're going to call it because that's what it is, folks. On Juneteenth, which is June 19th, for anyone that doesn't know what Juneteenth is, if you're not familiar with the holiday, this black person right here is not going to explain it to you. Just go Google it, educate yourself. But um, it's a very important day in our history as a people and our history as black people in America. Um, but every American should know the importance of the state and the importance of the location in which his rally is taking place, which is Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you're not familiar with the massacre that occurred on in that location, you should also go Google that. So I also wanted to add in a little thing that everyone can do. Trump is actually giving away two free tickets per phone number when you register for the rally. So what I'm urging everyone to do is go on his website, reserve two seats at his rally so that when he shows it on the news and tries to lie about how many people are in his audience, it'll be a bunch of empty seats reserved by, you know, people of color and our white allies. So go forth and be a history maker and a game changer. Go reserve your two seats. I don't know, get fake number, fake phone numbers if you can, but like reserve all the seats at this rally because we need it to be empty and show him that white supremacy just will not stand in this country. Our next story is an event that happened on May 20th in Oklahoma City. <laughs> wow, Oklahoma's just really winning. Um, uh, a man was running from the cops. He actually had a handgun in his pocket, but that's not really important to the story. Um, he ran from the cops. The cops tackled him to the ground and the man said, I can't breathe. Then one of the cops is literally on video saying, I don't care. And the man died. Shocker. This happened on May 20th. Um, there, there's a link down below uh, if you would like to see the video and um, just read the article. If you don't wanna see the video, I'll have a link to both there. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make everyone aware that although George Floyd's case is important, this is happening everywhere and we need to listen and we need to understand that something has to change. Also, before I end this video, in the description of this video, I'm also placing a link to a Twitter thread of a man who's a police officer and he's showing how hard it is to be a good police officer in a bad system. So I, I think everyone should go give that Twitter feed a little read. It's like a five to seven minute read just to scroll through all the tweets and you'll see how messed up and corrupt the system really is. 
Our next news story is a little bit of positive news. News? Nudes. Not nudes. <laughs> Our next news story is a little bit of positive news. The brand, the Band-Aid brand, Band-Aid, Band-Aid, the brand of bandages. Band-Aid has announced that they are finally um, creating bandages for people of color. So I'm going to insert that photo right here. And um, yeah, for anyone that thinks, oh, it doesn't matter like what color your Band-Aid is. I mean, like, obviously not. Like, I can wear a Hello Kitty Band-Aid and it doesn't mean I'm a Hello Kitty. But it's just nice for people of color to be able to pick out a Band-Aid that is their skin color. It's really important that uh, Band-Aid is finally creating bandages for people of color. Our last piece of news for this segment is that today, June 12th, I'm not sure if this video will go up today, but on the day that I'm recording this, June 12th is Loving Day. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Loving Day, uh, the court case Loving v. Virginia is what Loving Day is named after, and that is the court case that finally legalized interracial marriage. Um, technically there weren't any like federal laws against interracial marriage, but a bunch of states, 12 states to be exact, had regulations that made it illegal to marry outside of your own race and to have an interracial marriage, especially to have children in an interracial marriage. And, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Loving, you know, brought this case to the Supreme Court and, um, yeah, it was legalized to have interracial marriage and interracial relationships. So, um, you know, just think about how far we've come. That was in 1967 that that was passed. We got a lot of work to do, everyone. We got a lot of work to do, but things are looking up. So I encourage everyone to hug a loved one on Loving Day and uh, see you next time. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to a new segment I like to call What's Going On. Okay, so what's going on is kind of like news you may have missed while watching mainstream media, but it's going to be more political because this is an election year. So I'd like to take this to just put a spotlight on some politicians in my community and I'll look up communities of, you know, maybe New York or whatever my followers want me to do research on. But I researched a couple politicians and... I'm just gonna tell you what I learned about them. And yeah, so this is what's going on in the world. Politics edition. So <clears throat> first I'd like to preface this by how important voting is, okay? Let me just say something that may be obvious to most people, but in case it wasn't, racism in America did not start with Donald Trump and it won't end with him. So even if we get him out of office this year, God bless it, please get him out of office this year. However, even if we do, there's still work to be done. He is not the source of all evil in America. I do think he was instrumental in pulling out of lots of, a lot of racist tendencies in people and these hate, hatred ideals in society. So I do think he was super poisonous to our society and needs to be gone. But I just want everyone to remember that work, our work is still not done. So... Today's politician spotlights are for my district um, in North Carolina, which is the 10th Congressional District. So if you didn't know, um, our representative, well, actually, our one of our representatives and one of our senators is up for re-election. I think a couple of our representatives are. Well, I mean, our district has one representative. Anyways, one of our senators from North Carolina is up for re-election and um the representative for my district is up for re-election so first i'd like to talk about if you live in the 10th congressional district of north carolina the person running for representative his name is david parker now unfortunately i do not believe that he will beat patrick McHenry just because there is no information i did so much research today I spent probably an hour trying to find information about this man, and there is just not a ton on the internet. So if you are looking for a summer internship or looking for something to do this summer, maybe volunteer for his campaign. Um, David Parker is a Democrat. He went to Chapel Hill whoop, whoop, um, for his undergrad and for law school. And that is about all the information I could find out about him. Um, I did find out that he served on the school board for Statesville and Iredell counties. Um, 
And that's about it. So if anyone knows any more information about David Parker, please send it my way. Um, and I don't know, if anyone can find out anything about his politics, his stance on anything, his voting record, please let me know. Okay. <laughs> um, and the person running for Senate, my favorite candidate. Um, I learned a lot of good things about him today and I'm very excited. His name is Cal Cunningham. He's running for Senator to replace good old Tom Phyllis. <laughs> um, and he went to Chapel Hill for undergrad and for law school and got his master's at the London School of Economics. So he's got a lot of degrees. Mind you, Tom Tillis only has a bachelor's degree. So I don't know, like, don't we want our politicians to be well educated? I'm not saying that you need a higher degree to be good at your job, but Cal Cunningham's record is pretty impressive. Uh, everybody look up, research him, please. And he is a former, he's a veteran. He served in the army. He served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, and yeah, he seems like a good guy. He's 46 years old. <laughs> um, yeah, just do your research, everyone. So that's the end of today's What's Going On Political Spotlight. And um, yeah, research your candidates. Next up is a segment I like to call White People Gone Wild. These are white people that forgot technology exists and we can now catch the racism on tape. Great. Did you just make you a racist comment? You know what? I am not a racist person. You just you just made but a you racist know what? comment. You need to go home. I am from here. Look at go home. I am here from here. Go home. I don't care about your Facebook or your video. Oh, okay. You're Do you know how many people right can't now? stand you being oh, here? Great. You play games. We don't play games. Oh, what kind of game are you playing? I play games where you get fucked to death. Oh, okay. Well, great. Let me let me take your uh, card. Let me put you your number to plate, too. You get away Great. from me. So this lady I'm calling the just police made you. a racist comment. I can't believe this. You are going to go to real jail now. Well, great. You, you are. Kind of man? I think you're going. You understand me, kind of man? You understand me, kind of man? Respect. Respect. Respect people. Respect. Lady. I don't understand your language, kind of man. Respect, lady. Respect. Then you move your car. You're there way you too close. Get away from me. There you go. You don't even know how to park the car. You don't even know. There you go. Do you know who my family is? Do you know who your family is? Go home to your family. This is from your government. Respect, go home. lady. Go home. Get this educated is from my and government. respect. This is from my government. Get go home. educated and you so respect. Fucked. You're going to get fucked. Your get kids are going to get fucked. Respect. This is my Get country. educated and respect, lady. This is my Did country. you finish college? This is from my government. Did you finish Go college? Home. Did you finish Put college? That on your Facebook. Did you? You know what? Did you? You are nothing. What did you say? You're nothing. I exactly. Did you did You're did nothing you right there. What? Did you do? Lady. Did you do? Get did you do? educated <laughs> and respect. Stop hollering. You calling me a nigger? Come on, let's file a hate crime. Here's the idiot who thought it was okay to call me a nigger. Here's her license plate. And she want to drive to the police station. Let's see what we're going to tell the cops today. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm don't sorry. tell I'm me you're sorry. Side. I'm sorry for the looting. I'm sorry for everything. What do you want from me? Why would you call you me a nigger? Me. Yeah, because, because you want driving. I'm so fed up with all this shit. <laughs> this is her. She lives in South Holland. This is the lady. And we, we, we got cameras today. Please, I can't take this anymore. I'm trying to move out. I'm trying to move out. No, she called me a nigger and then she drove uh, here she to cry. Me. She passed me. Yeah, so that's what we're dealing with. On the with. left. She passed me on the left. Okay. And I can't, that's what we're dealing with. I, I, this is what we're dealing well, with. Well, I witnessed the lootings. <laughs> I witnessed the lootings. I can't take any more. I'm trying to move forward. Oh, it's okay to call somebody a nigger because you're tired of looting? Yes, I'm tired of this. Did you hear this? You guys call each other that all the time. I Shut the, the fuck time. up. Call the police. Tell them what you want to tell them. You're on camera. You're the white lady who called somebody a nigger. <laughs> Fucking 2020, you're pathetic. Take this anymore. Please call her I an officer. Please call her an officer. I got call, call her an officer. And what I do I do about her calling a nigger? Is that hate crime? Is that okay? Sorry. I'll file charges for that hate crime too. Cause you want to call people niggas today. I got time, lady. I'm so tired of this. I'm tired, I'm tired too. Tired. Black people been tired for 400 years, lady. What the fuck? We, I lived here. I, 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 I don't care. To get along. Come on, I call, to get along. call the police. You want?
want to call so we can file the crimes that we want to file. Because y'all got time today. I have time, lady. I can't take this. <laughs> I'm just going to get my